So the biggest issue I see with the majority of players today is they always want to try to pull the baseball, okay? So I want you to really think about that. I want you to think about the term pulling the ball and what has to happen in order for you to pull the ball, all right? So here's a representation of a fastball coming in. We have three balls lined up in a row here, and we're going to focus on hitting this middle ball, okay? So if I'm trying to pull the baseball, what I have to do is I have to take my sweet spot out around the zone in order to pull this ball to the left side of the field, okay? So I really want you to focus on what happens when I do that. So whenever I take my sweet spot out around this ball, look what happens when I'm a little bit late. I get jammed. If I'm perfectly on time, I can barrel that pitch up and have some success. But if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm hitting that ball off the end of the bat and I'm getting weak contact, okay? And that's the biggest issue with players that want to pull the ball is they don't consistently hit the ball hard, right? And that's because our timing has to be perfect in order to barrel the ball up, okay? And I heard, a, I'm sure a lot of y'all have heard, you want to stay inside the ball or take your hands to the ball. But you've never really been taught why you want to stay inside the ball. And I'm going to show you exactly why you want to do that, okay? So the same thing, we're going to try to hit this middle pitch right here, okay? So if I learn how to relax my hands and drive my hands inside this ball, look what happens. If I'm a little bit late, I'm able to barrel that ball up. If I'm a little, if I'm perfectly on time, I can barrel that ball up. And if I'm just a little bit out front, I'm still able to barrel that ball up and drive it to all parts of the field, okay? And that's why Derek Jeter was one of the greatest contact hitters of all time, is because whenever he went up to the plate, I don't care if it's an outside pitch, middle pitch, or the pitch is thrown in, he had the mindset that no matter what, I'm going to stay inside this baseball, okay? And that's where the patented Jeter in the ball, like the inside pitch of driving it to right field, that's where that comes into play. It's because he's driving his hands inside that ball, and he's still able to barrel it up and drive it all parts of the field.